this is what people always give me because they don't know what I want but they know I like books so it's always chocolate and books which I am definitely here for everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my what I got for Christmas 2020 video I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see it or if I should just put everything away and you guys said you wanted to see what I got and obviously I need to make the disclaimer so nobody gets mad at me I am NOT trying to brag for anything I got I am super super thankful for everything I received and yeah so without further ado let us get started I'm going to start with things that I got from friends and Will, my boyfriend, because that just seems like the easiest thing to do, so that's what we're going to do. So my best friend Abby and I, we exchange gifts every single year, and this year she made me like the sweetest thing ever. She is an artist, she's very, very talented, she's currently in her second year of masters for landscape design, so it's a lot of like flowers and shit like that. So she decided to paint me a picture of a oak leaved geranium which apparently symbolizes true friendship so I think it's like the cutest sweetest thing ever and I'm super super excited to put it up on my shelf. I also love that she made it purple because purple is my favorite color so I love this gift. I think it was super thoughtful and super unique so thank you so much my little baby. Okay now moving on to Will because I know that he's going to want to see in the beginning of the video because he's not going to watch the whole video so he'll want his presence to come in the first like 30 seconds. So I have this joke with him where I would tell him that if his present for Christmas wasn't good then I'd be getting rid of him and he wouldn't make it to Valentine's Day but congratulations Will you made it to Valentine's Day. I love everything you got me. You did so well on the present front. He ended up putting it all in this little box which I think was super cute and everything was individually wrapped in like cute little boxes and stuff which uh, his mom did for him but I'll give him the credit. A little stocking with a little snowman on it. I think this is what the Caramel M&M's brand. Caramel M&M's are my favorite chocolate in the entire world so I was beyond ecstatic when I opened this up. And then he also got me sour watermelon candies. These are my favorite sour candy. I'm not like the biggest fan of sour but these become sweet very quickly so I like them a lot. He also gave me some crunchies which is my favorite chocolate bar so thank you so much baby. And then he also gave me a indigo gift card, duh, because bookworm. As well as a cute little snowman package that had a Value Village gift card. Value Village is the thrift store in Canada. I'm not 100% sure if you guys in America have it but it's my favorite thrift store and I go all the time with my mom on the shopping sprees so thank Thank you so much. This is going to come in super duper handy because it will definitely save me a lot of money that I spend every single time we go. And then he made me a certificate for a trip to the Butterfly Conservatory. There's one in Niagara Falls which is like my favorite place in the entire world. You literally just go into a room full of butterflies and they're all like flitting around and they just make me so happy. I can spend like hours in there. I'm always talking about how much I love it there so obviously we can't go right now because of the pandemic so he just made a certificate that says we're going. And then my favorite thing that he got me was this necklace, which I'm not 100% sure if you guys will be able to see, but it's like an amethyst teardrop diamond necklace and it is super duper duper pretty and I love it so much and I was very nervous for him picking out jewelry because he doesn't have the best taste, but he did very very well. I think he teamed up with my mom, but... I'll take it. But yeah, those were all the presents that William gave me, so thank you so much. I love you. Now I shall move on to the presents that Will's grandmother, grandfather, and parents got me. His grandma and grandpa got me this cute little bag. It has some chocolates in it. Uh, they are milk chocolate sleigh bells with caramel filling, so that's delicious. They also got me a dark chocolate salted caramel bark bar, which I am obsessed with salted caramel things, so I don't know if Will told them that or they just observe me eating all the chocolate in their house all the time. We don't know. And then they got me some purple nail polish because I am obsessed with purple and I like having my nails done, which they are not done right now because my press-on nails fell off, but we ordered some more, but they're not coming till the end of January. It's fine. I'm upset about it but it's fine. And then they got me some Japanese Cherry Blossom Bath and Body Works hand gel, which is actually hand sanitizer, which I had no idea that they made these giant hand sanitizer bottles there, but I'm very excited. Thank you very much. And then they also got me a Indigo gift card. I feel like this is what people always give me because 
they don't know what I want but they know I like books so it's always chocolate and books which I am definitely here for and then his parents got me this bag and it has some more chocolate in it which I'm very excited about these are pretzel toffee they have like a fancy chocolate store near their house so I'm very excited to try these they also picked me up some milk chocolate drenched Oreo cookies which again I am very excited to try and then his mom has a cricket machine so she made everybody in my family like a hand sanitizer with their name on it which I think is super cute and it's got a little hook so I can hook it to my bag which is exciting and I never have things with my name on it so I was very excited about this which is like a stupid thing to be excited about but like I was beyond ecstatic and then they got me some fuzzy reading socks which you can never have enough fuzzy socks so I am so excited about that and then to complete the fuzzy look they also got me a purple bathrobe which you can't really see on camera because it's so big but it is the softest warmest thing ever and it's long enough for me which never happens the bathrobes are always so short and my butt hangs out because i am a freaking giant i'm six feet tall but this one actually fits and the sleeves are long enough and it is so exciting and i've been wearing it every single day and i love it <laughs> and they also gave me an indigo gift card no surprise there. Now on to things that my family got me, I guess. Um, my brother picked me up a 25 Visa gift card so I can spend it on whatever I want because he didn't want to get me an Indigo gift card, so. I mean, I'm probably gonna end up buying books with it, but at least I have the option to buy whatever I want. And then my aunt dropped off a little gift basket. It has like smelly bath things in it. So there's like some shoe spray, there's bath salts, there's like a sleep roller, which I guess helps you sleep. I guess you roll it on your temples or something. I haven't read the card yet, so I don't actually know how it works. And then there's also like room spray in there, so we love a smelly gift. And then we also get a stocking every year, so it's full of like little fun gifts that I always love so much because my mom always knows what to get me. But my favorite thing in there, not gonna lie, is this scalp massager. It is the best thing in the entire world and it feels so good and I love it so much and it's purple so you know I'm a fan. I'm constantly asking my mom to like scratch my head because it just feels really good so now I don't have to ask her. I can do it myself which you know we love an independent woman. <laughs> and then every year in our stocking we get band-aids so this year I got circus themed band-aids and they are super duper cute. I love them and I'm almost done my Paw Patrol ones from last year so it's time to restock. There was also this like headband which I think is really cool but I was very confused when I opened it because I had no idea what it is. But basically it's like a wire headband. It's just fabric and you can put it on your head and then like do the little like bow or knot or whatever you want to do with it. So I will definitely need my mom to help me with this because I am not very good at tying it. It never looks good, but when she does it, it looks good, so. Look at me being dependent on my mom again. Are we really surprised? I also received a book holder, which I find very confusing because it's supposed to like hold your book open while you read it, but I feel like it's going to be so much effort to have to put the pages under the hard thing every single time. But I don't know if I'm just being like dumb and it's actually not that hard or what. But yeah, it holds your book open while you read it, which I don't like reading with my hands, which sounds really weird, but I hate holding my books. So this is actually a really smart gift, but I'm still very confused by it. I haven't opened it yet, obviously, so I'm not 100% sure how it works, but still intrigued. And then to go along with the reading theme, I got some more fuzzy reading socks and these ones are so cozy. I love fuzzy socks. So anytime I get fuzzy socks in my presence, I am very excited about it. And then me and my brother both got this three-in-one photo lens kit. It comes with a wide angle, a macro, and a fisheye lens that you like clip onto your phone and it like changes the camera style, which I am very intrigued to try, but also very lazy. So I don't know when I'm going to get to it but I will eventually. And then every year we get an ornament in our stocking to put on our Christmas tree and this year my ornament is this little gnome. My mom and I have this weird obsession with these gnomes. We think they are the cutest things ever so she picked me up a little gnome and I love him so freaking much. He's so cute. Going off of the gnome theme, I also got this shirt 
with a Christmas gnome on it. I found it at the thrift store and thought it was really cute so I was gonna buy it but then I had way too many things in my cart so I ended up taking it out and my mom ended up picking it up and putting it in my stocking. Very excited about that. I will be wearing it next year for Christmas. Going off of the clothing theme at the thrift store, we found this Santa dress and I thought it was like the most obnoxious, cutest thing ever and it actually looks really good on me which you wouldn't think it would because like it's literally the worst fabric ever. It's probably from like one of those online stores that isn't a real store, you know what I'm talking about? But it's super cute and I'm very excited to wear it next year for our Christmas celebration when hopefully we are allowed to have them because I know that my aunt will get a kick out of it because it's loud and obnoxious like us. And then the final thing that I got in my stocking is probably my favorite thing out of all my stocking presents, but they are these cute little Kate Spade Christmas bow earrings. They are adorable and me and my mom were looking at them on Instagram but they ended up being sold out so I didn't get them. But then she found them and I love them and they are so pretty. I'm so excited to wear them next year with my Santa dress. And then we always get one present from my mom and dad and one present from Santa. So this year Santa got me a $100 trip to the thrift which I'm very excited about. I freaking love thrift shopping. It's like one of my favorite things to do with my mom. So we'll definitely be going when the pandemic is over and we're allowed to go. And then the gift from my mom and dad is 100% my favorite thing. I am so freaking excited about this and I honestly do not know how to act. They got me a Canon Selfie CP1300, which is literally just a photo printer. I journal a lot and I usually just write in it but now I have the added bonus of adding pictures and I wrote in my journal on Christmas and I got to print out pictures and I just think it looks so pretty now and I'm super excited. It's not that exciting for most people probably but I feel like such a like bougie adult now that I can print my own pictures because I always had to go to like Walmart and print them off of like a USB stick but now I can do it from home so I'm so excited. They also got me like a refill of the pictures like paper and the ink so it's 108 sheets with a pack of ink they made sure to tell me that once this is up i have to buy everything myself so jokes on you i'm probably just gonna ask for more next year at christmas boom trick the system but yeah that's what i got for christmas from my parents and now the final thing moving on are things that i got from my students i guess you can call them if you don't know i am an early childhood educator so I work at a before and after school program at the moment so we have students that come every day before and after school so they picked me up a couple of presents which I was not expecting but I am so thankful for and it was so cute. One of my girls made an ornament which I don't have with me right now because it is on my Christmas tree but it's like one of those rock candy things where you like make your own rock candy. I don't know if anybody- I'll try to like insert a picture of what I'm talking about but it's like in the shape of a snowflake and it says like love my student's name. I don't want to say their name but it's super cute and I love it very very much. And then we receive a lot of chocolate. So one of my students got me a 16 piece assorted chocolate with espresso caramel, cinnamon caramel, vanilla caramel, and sea salt caramel which I'm very excited about. And then another student got me some Lindor chocolate. We got some more Lindor chocolate. Some more Lindor chocolate. And then the principal picked up some Lindor chocolate and a pen that says where I work. It's like the school pen. Super exciting, but more chocolate. Also a candy cane, and then one of my students made a little like Play-Doh I love you thing, which is super cute. It's not Play-Doh. I don't know what it is, honestly, but it's still really cute. And then my student's parents are also very knowledgeable because they know that we live off of coffee. So I got a lot of Tim Hortons and Starbucks gift cards, which I am so excited about. Like, this is a lot of coffee. And then one parent also picked up a prepaid card for $20. So again, I will probably end up buying books with it. But thank you so much to all the parents and the students that ended up picking up something for us because it is definitely not needed but very very much appreciated. Alright everybody so those are all of the presents that I received from my family and friends and students 
and I am so thankful for everything that I received, obviously. I know a lot of people are not as fortunate as me to receive all of these amazing presents, but like I said, I'm very thankful. So please let me know down below what you guys all got for Christmas because I'm very curious and nosy and love to see everybody's hauls. So please, if you made one, link it down below or just tell me what you got and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.